What's up, everyone? This is Xavier, your host, and welcome to the 210 Stockyard. This is episode three of the San Antonio Brahmas running back room featuring Kalen Balaj, our sixth round pick, 46th overall out of Arizona State. And if you saw the previous two running back room episodes, you'll see that Kalen Balaj is kind of a mix of the first two picks that we got. He has the power of Jaquez Patrick, and he also has the speed and dependable hands of Calvin Turner. And you'll see why I say that after watching his highlight film. But let's get into his background. Kalen Balaj is 6'3", 230 pounds out of Peyton, Colorado. He was a four-star recruit coming out of high school. He played for Arizona in 2014. He wasn't the starter or a backup, but he was in the rotation, and he did play as a true freshman. He made appearances in 12 out of 13 games that season, and on the year, he rushed 138 yards with three touchdowns. He had six receptions for 46 yards and one touchdown, and he even had a 96-yard kick return in the Sun Bowl, so not a bad way to end a true freshman year. Sophomore year, he was the backup. Those are his stats right there. His best game came against Oregon, where he rushed for 127 yards. His junior year, this was the year that actually showed some magic. 2016, he was only one of nine players in the FBS to rush, receive, and throw a touchdown in a single season. At Utah, he had a season-high 118 yards receiving. Uh, against Texas Tech, he had a season-high 137 yards rushing. And they even implemented him now in the Wildcat, and it was actually pretty successful, and it, they gave it a nickname. It, was, it became known as the Sparky Package. So if they dialed up the Sparky Package, Kalen Balaj was in the Wildcat ready to score. So those are some nice looking numbers on the season, but I don't really want to talk about that season. I want to talk about that one time. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then sit back and relax as I tell you the tale of the legend of Kalen Balaj. Once upon a time, Kalen woke up and chose violence. But he didn't just choose violence. He chose violence and chaos against his out-of-conference opponent that day, the Texas Tech Raiders. Now this wasn't any Texas Tech team. This was a Patrick Mahomes-led Texas Tech team. So from the very start, Kalen imposed his will and decided he would not be denied as he repeatedly battered the defense in an intense battle for the ages, ending in history being made. In this game, Kalen rushed for seven touchdowns, received one touchdown, for a total of eight touchdowns in one game. He only needed 13 carries to rack up 140 yards rushing and two receptions to gain 48 yards in the air. Four of those touchdowns, by the way, came in the second quarter. And when it was all said and done, the Arizona State Sun Devils defeated the Texas Tech Raiders 68 to 55. And if you hadn't heard of this game or if you haven't seen this game, I highly recommend you look that game up and just watch it. It is nothing but a highlight reel. It was a very intense game. And as crazy as those numbers are, he didn't break or set the record. He actually tied the record. So he has now tied the record for most touchdowns in one game. All right, so after the fairy tale magic, we're going to fast forward to 2017, senior year, where he is only one of three Pac-12 players to be invited to and play in the Reese's Senior Bowl. While there, he did record the fastest time among running backs with 19.42 miles an hour, so pretty fast. And his season-high rushing yards that year were against Oregon State, where he ran for 103 yards. So nothing too shattering there. Let's take a look at his season stats, or I'm sorry, his career stats altogether. So over 1,900 rushing yards with 27 touchdowns, that's pretty good. 82 receptions for 684 yards and two touchdowns, again, really good and over a thousand kicking return. So he is a contributor. Obviously he's a good rusher. He's got, you know, dependable hands and he can kick return when asked to. So I like what I'm seeing here. I'm liking, I like that I'm seeing versatility in him. Again, the numbers are reminiscent of Calvin Turner. I think those numbers look good and apparently I'm not the only one because he was drafted in 2018 by the Miami Dolphins, fourth round pick, 131st overall. But like most players in this league, they didn't make the cut. He was a practice squad guy. You know, he was released and then kind of bounced around the NFL with the Chargers, the Jets, and then the Steelers. So again, never really made a team. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at some film now and see some of that magic for ourselves. All right, looks like a downhill runner. Just takes the handoff, sees the gap, hits it all the way to the house. All right, good first play. He's gonna show some power here. Takes the handoff, boom. Shrugs off the first tackler, makes the second tackler miss. And by the time the third guy gets him, he's already in the end zone, it's too late. Once again, set up in the backfield, finds a lane, and then just exploits it. Once again, to the house. From the backfield, handoff, to the edge. Okay, a little bit of a high step there, nicely done. Avoids all, all of them, about four defenders. Finally gets pushed out by the fifth one. And there you go again. He's, he seems pretty patient. He just likes to find that gap and then, boom, he just hits it. Hurdle! <laughs> oh, another one. God, I love seeing hurdles. I hope I see lots of those come game day. The pitch. And just going to run to the outside. Easy day. All right, here we go. Kickoff return. All right. Oh, nicely done. Just sees the gap, makes a little bit of a shuffle step. And he's going all the way. Is he going to go all the way? Oh, no, they're going to catch him. But still, that was about an 80-yard return. All right, takes the pitch once again to the edge. Oh, he's... Did he, hold on, let me go back. Does he step on this guy? Let's look. And boom. Yep, stomps. <laughs> okay, he's, he's out of the wildcat on this one. There you go. Takes the direct snap. Makes two guys miss in the end zone. That's a sparky package right there. There we go, takes the handoff. Oh, that was good job, O-line. This is against Texas Tech. Yep, boom. Boom! <laughs> I love that, lowers the shoulder, got him. Okay, outside pitch, looked like a check down, and he's, he's elusive too. This guy, yeah, he just made two guys miss, and now he's making three guys chase him all the way down to the 25, or look like the 10. Boom, man, look at that. Power. He just ran. Oh, oh again, trucks the dude. You see his patience here. Takes the handoff. Oh, nope. Changes direction. Finds the gap. End zone. Here we go. He's going to move the whole pile with him. Look at that. Handoff in the backfield. Makes a little stutter step. And yeah, you got to really take, you got to really work to take him down. Here we go. Power running. He just forced his, his lineman out of the way again. Nice catch, nice hands. Takes the handoff. And he's real good with just following his blockers and finding the gaps. Oh wow, nice hurdle. I love that he hurdles, guys. I love seeing that. Takes the snap, almost gets tackled. He saved his quarterback right there. That was, he was a security blanket on that play. Sweeps to the right, lowers the shoulder. Goal line. This is during that. Yeah, get off me, man. That guy can't even. That guy can't even push him. Ooh. Yeah, he's tough. He's pretty quick. Oh, this guy just may be our kickoff return. Here we go. Goes around his his own guy. Look at spin move. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have some pretty electric uh, kick return highlights with uh, Kalen Balage. And here we go again. Another kickoff. From the Wildcat, direct snap into the end zone again. That's the sparky package, y'all. Hand off, up the middle, <laughs> almost hit the ref. I mean, yeah, if anything, he's just a downhill runner. I mean, yes, he can make his adjustments in his jukes, but you give him that pitch in the backfield, he's just going north and south. He's going right up the middle, and you're going to have to put everything you've got into taking him down. This I like seeing. So here's a check down. Usually they don't go for much, but he's able to get the first down and then some. So positive yard plays out of the check down. I do like seeing that. I like how he reads the defense. I like how he can step in and out of those, those pockets and those holes. I like that he's very capable of lowering the shoulder, taking a hit or initiating the hit. This is him at the quarterback again, the Wildcat, but he actually passes it. Wow, nicely done. So I could see some trick plays being dialed up with him in the in the game. Nice pitch. Nice adjustment. Very nice. Got a few extra yards out of that. Another kick return here. 
But he's toying with the defense. <laughs> he's just playing with them. Get out my way. <laughs> I love seeing this guy just barrel through everyone. Again, boom, just lowers the shoulder. You get you're taking that hit. End zone. So there he is, folks. That's Kalen Balage. Just barreling through people. I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing out of all of our running backs. I'm excited for the run game with the Brahmas. So that's it, folks. That was Kalen Balaj. Looking forward to seeing him and all of our running backs on game days. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. Let me know if there's something else you'd like me to cover. And stay tuned for the next episode where I will break down our tight ends.